Cummings, were you telling the truth yesterday? Should he stay or should he go? Dominic Cummings may have shared his side of the story, but the anger surrounding his trip from London to the northeast of England, defying the government's own lockdown rules, isn't going away. Newspapers on the right and left of politics are saying the same thing. No apology, no regrets, reads one. No regrets, no apology, the other. Meanwhile, politicians from the governing Conservatives and opposition parties are piling pressure on the Prime Minister to sack his chief adviser. One junior government minister resigned in protest. There are aspects of Cummings' explanation that I have trouble with, he tweeted. The government's now desperately trying to refocus attention on what it's achieved, including the announcement that Britain would provide the antiviral drug remdesivir to some COVID-19 sufferers. This is probably the biggest step forward in the treatment of coronavirus since the crisis began. These are very early steps, but we're determined to support the science and back the projects that show promise. The government's expended an awful lot of political capital defending Dominic Cummings. Only two weeks ago, the Prime Minister's approval rating, according to one poll, was 25%. After supporting his chief adviser, it's now in negative figures at a time when the government's trying to inspire public confidence. In other parts of Europe, people are adjusting to a relaxing of restrictions. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, says his nation's passed the peak of infections, despite recording its highest daily death toll. Flags in the Spanish capital, Madrid, were lowered ahead of 10 days of mourning for the victims of COVID-19. As the pandemic appears to be winding down, people are left counting the economic cost. A group of restaurant chefs gathered outside the Spanish parliament, demanding more financial aid for a sector hardest hit by the lockdown. In Germany, the government's agreed to extend social distancing restrictions until June the 29th, after a row between federal and state authorities over how fast to ease the lockdown. The government's also agreed to a $9.8 billion bailout for its national carrier Lufthansa. Officials there want to lift a travel warning for 31 European countries for mid-June. The major travel slumps left even the strongest airlines struggling. In the UK, as restrictions ease, life's returning to London's parks and tennis courts, with a few more rules on how many people can play. In the absence of a vaccine, life after lockdowns likely to be governed by far more regulations. Rules meant for everyone. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.